alert weather forecast. If you'll be heading out the door tomorrow morning, just be aware that there could be some flurries, maybe even some steady or snow showers around. And of course, that cloud cover is going to stick around as well. Now heading into tomorrow afternoon, I do think there's a chance of some sunshine, but that's really uh, not too certain here at the moment as forecast guidance is continuing to show mixed signals on the afternoon sunshine for tomorrow, especially right here in the Chippewa Valley. So we'll just kind of have to see how things play out. I do expect a mix of clouds and sunshine, but there is again also that chance that maybe we stay mostly cloudy all day, which is what we saw here for today. That high for tomorrow afternoon expected to reach up to around 37. With that cloud cover in place tonight, temperatures are pretty uniform, uh, mostly ranging from the upper 20s into the low 30s. It's hard not to notice this pocket of much colder air across North Dakota, where temperatures right now are down into the teens. And that's because those folks are not being impacted by the cloud cover. They're actually under a clear sky, and that allows for that strong radiation cooling. Now, as we do look at satellite and radar, the weather is pretty quiet throughout. We do have a weak area of high pressure across South Dakota, but you're starting to see some indications of some very light snow showers or flurries showing up in the, uh, into the picture. And these are not really being driven by surface features, but more so what's going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere. We have this deep trough that's digging out across the Great Plains and uh, to the northern edge of that trough, there's actually a disturbance within the, uh, within the upper level flow. And this is gradually going to traverse southeast tonight right over the upper Midwest. This is going to help bring that needed forcing to get some of that precipitation uh, to develop. But there is limited moisture down at the surface. So any precipitation that we were to see through tomorrow morning would mainly be driven by this upper level feature. Now, as we do take a look at Skycast, yes, there are some breaks in the clouds but not to the extent that this forecast model is currently showing. We're going to call it mostly cloudy for tonight. I do think some of us will get into that narrow wedge of clearing that we are seeing across our northwestern counties. And here we are at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Here's some of these snow showers and flurries starting to enter our northwestern county. Again, the uh, most favorable areas to see these tomorrow morning would be near and especially north of I-94, we're in the clouds, and then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, uh, this particular forecast model favoring that we could see some sunshine widespread throughout western Wisconsin. Again, I'm not so confident on that, but I think there is a chance of us seeing some sunshine. So we'll just have to see th how things play out. And then as we head into tomorrow night, there is going to be a weak clipper system coming down from the northwest. That's going to bring some extra clouds. But as it stands now, most of the precipitation is going to avoid our area well to the north. So I do expect a lot of places to stay dry. We could see some sunshine waking up uh, Monday morning and the clouds gradually going to fill in from there. So for tonight, we'll drop to a low temperature of 24 degrees. Otherwise, tomorrow with enough of that sunshine, we are going to make it up to a high temperature of 37. There will be occasional breezes from the west as we do start out this work week. Temperatures hanging out from the upper 30s into the low 40s, which is above average. And then going into Valentine's Day, that's where we are watching the next weather system. Could bring some rain and snow showers, but one, of course, we'll just have to continue to watch closely over the next few days. Well, I'll be sure to enjoy those 40s then while they last, even if it's for a short bit. Yeah, not as good as the 50s that we've been experiencing, but we'll take above average all day. <laughs> so true. Thanks so much, yep. Derek.